<laughs> Welcome back. Now, there's some really amazing things happening, especially with regards the girl child. Now, the NGO called She Cares have put together something extra special for the girl child three times already, and we're here to find out loads more about what the fourth edition is going to be like. We have Helen Aquabio in the studio with us from She Cares. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Okay, so I know that uh, what you're working on has happened three times already. You need to Definitely. let everyone know okay. what's happening. Okay, thank you once again. My name is Helen, like you rightly said. Mm. Okay, the name of my organization is She Cares. And what do we do? We ensure that we seek to the education of the girl child. And one of the major things is to ensure that they have equal access to education. Okay. Uh, we actually anchor that based on the SDG goal four and five, which is um, equal education and then gender equality. Then aside from that, we also make use of that to ensure that for every girl child, she must be emotionally safe okay. to achieve the academic pursuit. Because when you're looking at the emotional status of the girl child, you cannot really talk about her achievement without her being emotionally stable. Mm -hmm. So we look at that, we ensure that every girl child must be emotionally safe in so achieving you, all of this. You need to let us know how this all started. I, I, I believe you're a um, teacher, yes? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm so a you're, teacher. you've been a teacher for how long? Okay, for let's say eight years plus. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then you decided to embark on this journey. It's not easy. It's from not. conception to you know coming this far. How yeah. did it all begin? Okay, so I, it all started in 2021. Okay. So I just thought of the idea. Maybe that actually um, came up simply because of the experience mm -hmm. I'd gone through emotionally. You know, every girl child has actually gone through some emotional trauma. So based on that, I sat down one day and I thought of, oh, can I give back to the society, especially for the girl child? Okay. And then I sat down and I thought about it. I was able to reach out to people. Okay. You know, okay, this is the idea that I have. And thankfully, right. people yeah. actually got to, you know, to support the idea. Okay. And then it all started like that, 2021. So and so is it a debate? Is it a conference? What, what exactly, what happens? every year okay every year we come up with an the first one which one of the objectives of she cares the first one is the intergirl secondary school oratory competition oratory competition yes so oratory. they speak they make they speeches speak. yes okay and so that's what also debate. back up with a, a topic okay i thought it could be a topic but okay. it depends on how the topic you know comes in okay like for instance the current one we're planning, the Intergirl Secondary School competition, we do that every year. Now, the essence of that is to improve their public speaking. Okay. Not every child has that, you know, that confidence, that boldness to face the crowd. So by so doing, we are also using that oratory competition or the debate to reach out to ensure that their confidence is being built up. Okay, so public speaking is a... It's a delicate area for, for young children. Definitely. Uh, standing in front of crowds, in front of their peers, it's in front not of easy. teachers yes. um, who have taught them over and over again how to speak, you know, how to conduct themselves in public. It's mm. a lot. It's, it's so a uh, let's lot. talk about age group now. Which age group are you focusing on for the... For the public speaking? Yes. Okay, the teenagers, yes. those in secondary school. From what age to what age? I said from age of um, 15. Okay to 20 years oh, okay. above. Okay, all right. So now, um, when they come up on stage, they speak on a particular theme, I believe. What's yes. the theme for this year? Okay, currently the theme for this year is embracing and sustaining African values and culture through okay. education. And that okay. came to be simply because um, recently we've been seeing a lot of the youths, even the teenagers, you know, drifting away from the African values and culture. Now I'm bringing it down to the context of Nigeria. A whole lot is happening and then we need to remind them that you don't need to forget about your roots. Mm. It's your identity. You need to come back. For the fact that we have um, modernized, you know, you allow West, Western culture to, to take over, we still need to remind them that, look, this is where you 
came from. Okay. Your, the root is very key to the success of any girl child, not, not just the girl child anyways, but also to the boy child too. We need All to right. bring them back. All right, so this is happening this week, I believe. Is it on yes, Friday? Yes, it's happening on Friday. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be, you know, looking out for the posts on social media okay. to find out more about it. I have to okay. say thank you so much, Helen, thank for what you, so you do much. and what you. you're doing. Thank you. Uh, honestly, I love to see girl children thrive, especially when it comes to public speaking, because that's what yeah. we do here. And day. actually one of those things, we <laughs> discover their weaknesses <laughs> and the strengths, we work in them. Helen, yeah. we are looking forward to seeing uh, one of the orators come on, on the show sometime soon. Okay, maybe the speak. winner. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay. But